Hey, paper crafting friends. Welcome back to another Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn. As you guys find me and I find myself, there I am. <laughs> Just making sure I'm in the right spot. I know I've, I've accidentally joined my personal wall a couple of different times. And, uh, yeah. Okay, there we are. Alrighty. I'm glad that you guys are here with me. As you join me, go ahead and say hello. Let me know where you're viewing from. I always love to see where everybody's from. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, we have the April host code. So I know there are some things that I'm going to be showing today that you're not able to get quite yet. I guess I'm teasing you a little bit and also letting you know that you can order the stuff now, actually, if you want to put it in a starter kit. Just let me know and we can get that together for you. But um, otherwise, if there are some things that I know I do show every week that I know are available right now, and there's also a shopping list on my blog, go ahead and use that host code there. Or just reach out to me and I can help you with everything. That's not a problem. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this party started. <laughs> we have a few things to talk about. Of course, we have our new catalog that is um, coming out here pretty quick. The 1st of May, isn't that crazy? So with that being said, if you have never ordered with me or it's been over a year since you've ordered with me, I'd be happy to send you a catalog. Just reach out to me. What I do is I just have you go ahead and um, I charge $10 to send the catalog out that covers the postage. And then I also put a $10 coupon in there along with it when I send it to you. And I will take $10 off your first order with me. But you'll just need to contact me directly in order for me to take care of that for you. Because that's a personal coupon, not a Stampin' Up! coupon. Anyway, so I just wanted to let you know about that. Hey, Kristen. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Happy Sunday Crafternoon. Also, once again, I've seen I've had more of you joining my e-newsletter. That's pretty awesome. So if you don't know how these goofy little QR codes work, what you do is you go ahead, you take your cell phone, open up your camera, and I believe all current or more recent um, iPhones and Androids have a QR reader built into when you take pictures or in your camera. And um, yeah, so that's how that works. And it will just, it will show the link right there. You'll click it or you just tap on it with your finger. That'll take you right to the landing page where you need to go and sign up for my newsletter. I think I've seen a Lori jump on in. Welcome in Sunday Crafternoon to you. So go ahead, sign up for that. That's always fun to keep in touch with you that way as well. All right, as far as other good things happening at the chalet. Wow. <laughs> um, I do have a community. So if you haven't joined over there, that's Dawn's Creator Chalet Community. Hop on over there. We'll get you all set to go. Also, of course, my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure to hit that little bell. It'll turn black and that'll give you all the notifications as I add things on YouTube. Like my Facebook Lives, if you'd like. And what's really cool, I've numbered them. Um, hi, hello, hello, Ohio. Like, we're neighbors, because I'm in the mitten state. <laughs> I know that's so goofy. Yeah, that's just what we Michiganders do, you know? Um, anyway, so hit that little bell. You'll get the notifications. Um, what I decided to start doing is make little thumbnails of each week's projects. So if there's something that you had your eye on and you're like, oh, I don't know where to find it, Go to my YouTube and you're going to see, you can click on videos and see them all in order and they're all numbered. Now, if there's something where you're not sure which one it is, let me know. I can help you and I can just say, go to number 120 and then you'll be able to see what, what we did, the technique, all that fun stuff. But I also have them on my blog as well. Hi, Jan. Happy Sunday Crafternoon to you. Um, also, of course, my blog, which is dawnscreativechalet.com. That's basically my hub for everything, for the most part. Evelyn, hello there. I hope that you're feeling better. 
Oh my goodness, sending you a hug. It's good to see you. You must be feeling better. You're here. That's good. That's really good. That makes me very happy. Um, also, my online store, which I was just showing you with the link, dawnscreativechalet.stampinup.net, and we have the host code set for April. And again, if you're not really familiar with all that, you just want to place an order, just contact me directly. I can help you. All right, as far as um, the other happenings at the chalet, we just had our sip and stamp on Friday. That's always a lot of fun. And then as we get into April, on the 11th, we have creative card class. On the 18th of April, we have our product inclusive class. Uh, let's see here, and I'll need to have an RSVP. Actually, that is wrong. That's wrong, Dawn. <laughs> I actually basically need it now, like by the end of today. Now. There we go. <laughs> Would you like how it can just scratch it? Okay, and then we're going to get into May, and I just want to mention a couple things for May, and I know it seems like, oh my gosh, we haven't got through April yet, but these things are going to sneak up on us before we know it. The first one is... Um, May the 2nd, on a Thursday, I'm going to be having a catalog kickoff. I'll have over 100 samples available for y'all to look at, if you're local, to the Lettington, Scottville, and surrounding area. Um, we also, we, we have a lot of fun. It's, it's a party, right? We're celebrating, kicking off a new catalog, and it's pretty gorgeous inside, and I am excited to show it to all of you and the strategy that Stampin' Up! took with this one because it's, I'm getting used to it and I think it's really cool. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. And that again is on Thursday, May the 2nd, and I'm offering two times at 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. And I'm pricing it just like I do with all my other classes. It's $25 for free with the minimum order during the event. And please RSVP by the 29th on that. Because we're going to play with some new products too. Along with a few other surprises up my sleeve. And then uh, May Sip and Stamp over at the Lettington Starbucks is on May the 3rd on Friday. First Friday of the month. 12 noon to 2 p.m. And then of course I also want to mention. I have my card class. That's the second week of um, the month on Thursday. Which is on the 9th. But most importantly, I'm having my 14th annual BOGO event. This is where I bring all of my retired products current to whatever I have previously, which is a lot. I could probably open up my own store. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and that is going to be on Saturday, May the 11th. If you are local or local-ish to me, if you want to take a little jaunt in the car and pile your friends in all your paper crafting friends bring them along it's worth it and um it's going to be on saturday may 11th 10 a.m to 1 p.m only at uh, the amber township hall in scottville which is off of amber road and if you have questions about that and you're wanting to come let me know and i can give you some directions not a problem there but it's not garage sale pricing, just to mention that. I know some people are expecting that when they get there, if they're new to the event. What I do is I mark it to the price of the catalog. There's a lot of gently used stamps or bundles, but I take pretty good care of my stuff. Um, and there's also gently used, never used as far as papers, embellishments, ribbons, you name it. I think I have it. <laughs> and then what you spend at the event, I give you a coupon to shop out of the new catalog. I give you just a couple of days to shop, call me up, place an order, it gets delivered to me, and then I have you pick it up here at the chalet. So that's how that works. It's so much fun, and I have the people that come every year for it. It's, it's so much fun to catch up with everybody if I have not seen them in a while. They're unable otherwise to get to my classes, if they're a little too far away, that type of thing. But anyway, just wanted to mention the BOGO event the live BOGO event will be on Saturday, May the 11th, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And you're like, why is it so short? I've done 13 others of these. And basically, if, if you haven't shopped by noon and checked out, I normally don't see anybody else after that. It's, it's usually just like the first couple hours. It's fast, furious, shopping. 
and everybody is so serious when they're in there. It's it's actually kind of fun to watch. So um, usually everybody is there long and gone long before even noon. So I'm extending it to one o'clock. All right. If you have any questions about that, just holler. Also, Paper Pumpkin is coming up to the deadline to sign up for the April kit, which is Delicate Wings. It looks really pretty, you guys. If you don't uh, receive Paper Pumpkin with me, ask me about it. I can get you all set up. But anyway, it's Delicate Wings. Subscri bleh, subscribe <laughs> by April the 10th. Oh, my gosh, my tongue is tied today. What is up with that? Holy smokies. Anyway, sign up by the 10th to get the April kit. It looks kind of neat. And then also, of course, we have the dies that will cover for April, May, and June. And they will coordinate. And I forgot to order these little guys yet, so I need to get them. I really actually like this shape even more so than the butterfly. But anywho, if you would like those, you need to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber in order to get them. Oh my goodness, as far as like uh, telling you guys about the things that I'm showing you today, as I explained at the beginning when I first popped on here, there's going to be some products that are not available until May 1st. But if you decide that you would like to get them now, you can. All you need to do is purchase a starter kit, contact me so I can help you out as far as getting what you need and the item numbers and that type of thing on the new things, and we can put them into a starter kit. And then you can get the free shipping, the discounted price, because it's $99, but you get to choose $125 product. You get the free shipping, a free paper pumpkin kit. Why not? Right? It's a really good deal. So anyway, if you have questions on that, let me know. And of course, I know we beat this like a wet rag. Online exclusives, because we have a lot of great stuff that is coming on into the online store. And... Just something on, for those of you who may not be aware, um, just to explain, whoops, I can't even grab that little guy. I have nails that are useless. With the online exclusives, with that being said, also, you're going to see as we get into the, into the year, I'm, I'm thinking the latter part of the year, um, unfortunately, close to my heart, we'll be going out of business. And I believe that their last day, is the end of June. So with that, a lot of the makers from close to my heart will be moving over to into the Stampin' Up! family. Now, this is actually very exciting and very cool. Uh, for those of you who do scrapbook, we're going to be adding... Hey, Lisa, I just noticed that you popped on here. Uh, we're going to be adding more scrapbooking products, which is like... I, I'm really excited about that because I know a lot of people do like to scrapbook. Hey, Carol. Hello. Happy Sunday Crafternoon. Um, so with that being said, I am really excited about that. So as the new edition, sorry about that. <laughs> I just had a phone call. Um, with that being said, those products will be, I believe, in our online store because they obviously can't be in our publication it's already been published it's already been printed so you're gonna want to make a habit of going to the online store a bit more just saying okay Whew, that was a lot of info huh <laughs> all righty so let's go ahead and let's start playing i had a list i just made it right before i got on here let me find it I'm gonna try to do this more often. Like I said, there's some items that are on this list that you guys are not able to get yet unless you're a demonstrator because these are all items that we could um, pre-purchase this month, all of April. So if you do decide to join up and hop on our team, you can get these things right now and all the way through the end of April and then as the catalog goes active, you can get all of those things that you end up seeing in our new catalog for a discounted price like I do, which is kind of cool. But with that being said, I decided I'm going to make a list of the things. So if you do have a wish list that you're starting to accumulate some of these things that you really love, but you're really unsure about the starter kit and you want to wait, that's okay. We're good with that. 
um, there's never a bad time, right, to join Stampin' Up. So with that being said, you may want to jot these things down as we go. And as we go through some of the new products, go, oh, maybe I do want that bundle. There's the item number four. Now, I didn't put the item numbers down for everything, but at least you know the correct names of the products. So if you are watching this as a replay, you'll be able to stop and go ahead and jot these items down. Now, you're also going to see some things that are similar to this um, on my blog. And then the items that you can actually get right now are in like a shopping list, so to speak, on my blog as well which is Dawn's Creative Chalet. And usually I post that for today, about a half hour to an hour after I've gone live with you guys here. It just takes a little bit of time to upload um, this to YouTube and all that all that gobbledygook, right? So I just wanted to show you that. Like I said, I'm gonna try to at least make you guys a list every week um, so you know what to look for because our catalog is a little different this year. So it's it's a little bit more of an Easter egg hunt to find things. But I don't want to scare you with that because, like I said, there's actually a very good rhyme and reason to the way our catalog has been designed this year. Hey, Lonnie. Hello. You're going to be home in a month? That's awesome. That means we need to get together, girly. I've seen you just called. <laughs> So with that being said, you guys, these two beautiful catalogs will be leaving us. They will have their last day the end of this month. So April 30th, the last day. Oh, I know what I wanted to cover. That's right. Let me grab it. You can tell I'm really discombobulated today, huh? So with all that being said, I have these pinned and where you are right now, where you're watching me, is my Facebook page, my business page. And these are pinned to the top, where it's like featured posts or whatever they call that. I don't know. Facebook changes that all the time. But anyway, these two lists are posted there as well as in my community. So if you have a question on these, let me know. These kick into gear with the sale prices on some of the items uh, starting on the 9th. So that's just in a couple of days. So again, if you have any questions on anything, but I suggest if you do, or if you did, have a chance to look at these lists, make sure to grab things on the 9th because they go fast, especially any of the in-color uh, stuff that's retiring. The in-color stuff always goes first. So things like the ink pads, the ink refills, um, the markers, all of that. Grab it sooner than later. And not all of it is on sale, but it will let you know um, over towards the right-hand column if it is on sale. So, yeah. Another thing, too, if there's things that are on sale and you decide you want to purchase a starter kit, it's like a double whammy. You get to add it, get the sale price, and you're still only paying $99 and choosing $125 of stuff. So for those of you who always ask me, how can I stretch my dollars the most with my hobby? I'm telling you, I'm giving you some helpful tips right now. <laughs> so take it as it may. But again, if you have any questions, just ask. But I am really bummed to see these catalogs go. I get kind of attached to a catalog, you know. I know that sounds silly, but it's true. All right. So with that being said today, we are playing with a brand new bundle. This is called Spotlight on Nature. Sorry if I'm kind of fading in and out here. I'm moving around grabbing stuff. What's the coolest part of this bundle are these dies. And you get all the dies. So the entire bundle, I believe, is 50... It's $52. If you purchase it all together, you'll get that 10% discount on the bundle. These are really cool. So what I did, although I, I think I picked the wrong color, but I decided to try to show you guys what these look like when you cut them out. Kind of fun. Now the trick to these, a trick, but anyway, if you can see here, the outside of the circle there we go, that's a good way to show you guys. Has that little edge. 
on one on the outer side, but on the inside it does not. But then on the next one, it has the edge. And then on the opposite side of that circle, it does not. So with that being said, what you'll want to do, if you're wanting to cut out a circle, you need to actually put two of them together. I, like I said, I think the black was a poor choice. If you guys can actually see those. So if you want to cut this out and just have the outer circle, you need to use both of these dies, if that makes sense. Isn't that awesome? But I think they're beautiful. And what's really cool about these is they're the basic circle shape, right? I mean, we use the circle shape a lot on our cards. And these are really big. Or the outside ones are. So if you are a scrapbooker, they're going to be fun as an addition to use on your pages like little elements. Maybe you could cut out, you know, um, with photos and putting like in the inside a photo and then having this be your frame or the mat. I have to get used to those terms again. I haven't scrapbooked in forever. How many of you guys are scrapbookers? Let me know to say me, me, me <laughs> in there. But yeah, so these are an awesome set. When I see them, I was just like, wow, I, I have to have those. So with that being said, today we are playing with some new stuff and some new in colors. All right, let me grab the first card here. Here we go. Isn't that yummy? That said summer all over it, doesn't it? So we have our pieces here. Okie dokie. Oh, I forgot to show you guys a new card kit that we have out and I just put together. Let me show you that really quick. I know, squirrel, squirrel moment. I had it sitting in front of me and then I forgot. This is so cute. So there's both dogs and cats as far as the dyes. I'm a dog person. I have my little pearl, who you guys have probably seen pictures of. Um, it's, it's really cute though. It has printed backgrounds, but there's also a stamp set that comes with it. And then, just to show you guys, I love the sentiments. Isn't that cute? Aw, I know, right? And these cute little hearts come with it. And here are the kitty cats. There's, like I said, oh, and an ink spot. I'll show you that before things tumble over. And then there's also, I don't know if you guys can be able, there we go. There we are. That's better. Um, so you can see the stamp set that comes along with it. So you have your doggy paw and kitty cat paw. Isn't that neat? And then also they give you your dimensionals. But let me show you the little kitty cat dies. Then I promise we'll get started on the, uh, on the cards. But I just think that this is such a cute kit. I believe it's $22. Okay, so here's the little kitty cat dies. Whoops. In case you're more of a cat fan. Isn't that cute? And then I saved these. These were the punched out pieces from this right here. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I can use that for something. I'm always saving all the scraps, right? <laughs> That's what we do. But anyway, adorable. And it is item number, I wrote it down, item number 163875. And it's $22.00. And it makes eight cards, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, five. Yep, eight cards. And it comes with the really cute coordinated envelopes. I love it. It's so, 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 so cute. Okay, let's get started here. Grab my cheat sheet. So here's some new in colors. We have Summer Splash and Shy Shamrock. They're very close. If I don't see these together... I get them mixed up. That's how close they are in my brain. So I have to get used to using these. Um, also, there's Lemon Lime Twist. And then I have a couple of pieces in case I make a boo-boo. And this is white. But let me give you the dimensions. First of all, the Summer Splash is 8.5 by 5.5. And, and I scored at 4 and a quarter. The inside piece is basic white. And it is cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter. We have Shy Shamrock, 
This is three and a half by four and a half. And then we have two lemon lime twist rectangles cut at two by three. And then this piece of basic white is two and a quarter by three quarter inches. And this is gonna be what our sentiment is going to be on. All right, I need, and I keep getting these mixed up, like I said. <laughs> I don't know why my brain can't commute, just like decipher between these two. Because they they really are different. But like I said, if you take like this away, I would probably say, well, that could be Summer Splash. I don't know. I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> what, what can I say? All right, so first of all, I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to grab a scrap mat here because we're going to stamp off and I don't want to get it on my pretty background. And we are going to use, and by the way, you guys, check this out. I know you're going to fall out of your chair. What do you guys notice that I normally never, ever, ever do? I put the stickers on the stamps. I know, don't fall out of your chair. It's a once in a lifetime event. <laughs> because I'm always too lazy. And because I probably just buy too much, truth be told. Okay, <laughs> anyway, Dawn, be quiet, start stamping. I'm gonna go ahead. This is a larger stamp. Aren't you impressed? I know, right? <laughs> Evelyn's like, oh boy, that that is like, a once in a lifetime event. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this beautiful leaf stamp and we're just gonna make a background. And I'm just doing tone on tone. I think on this card, I actually used Summer Splash on the Shy Shamrock. I think I just kind of was not even, I wasn't thinking, basically. And like I said, they're close to me in color as far as my brain works. All right. So there we are. And then we're going to take these two pieces of uh, lemon lime twist. I better clean this off because I think we're going to be using him with a different color. All right. There we are, and I need, oh yeah, this one. Look at that, I'm telling you. But you know, in this set of all the stickers, the cling sticker thingies that I put on, um, I put one on crooked, and this is exactly why I don't like to put the stickers on them, because then it messes with my head, so I don't need that, I need this. So how many of you have put on your stickers, on your stamps, and then it's a little crooked, and even though you know that stamp is on there properly, it still messes with your head, right? It's kind of like, is it is it on there straight or is it crooked? <laughs> I don't know. So that's the reason why I don't really, normally. Because there's always that one that I mess up on. Okay, so what we're going to do, tone on tone. So this is Lemon Lime Twist Ink. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. stamp this one the same stamp and I'm gonna go with putting putting it off a little bit different than I stamped on this one okay clean this off because I think I have to use this stamp again as well and we're just kind of sharing a block right now all right and then I need dear friend See, I even did that on the sentiment. Tell you, you guys, be impressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little cheesy. It's okay. All right, I know this is on a little crooked. We're going to straighten that out. Grab my piece of white. And there we are. Isn't that a pretty color? Shy Shamrock. That's a good one, especially with summer approaching, I hope, soon. I'll clean that off because I'm going to need that again. 
All right, get these pieces. We're gonna go ahead and assemble our card. And I need dimensionals and I need this guy back. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of the shy shamrock piece and then attach it to the card base, which is Summer Splash. See, I have to keep reminding myself of the names of these new in colors. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to remember them all. All right, so we're gonna put that on there. And then before I forget, let's get this inside piece taken care of. Oh, come on. My multi-purpose glue, I think, is empty. We'll try the other one. There we go. Yeah. All right. There we are. And then I'm going to take dimensionals on the back of the lemon line pieces. This is why the postman does not like me. <laughs> I'm popping up and popping up and popping up my cards. Okay, there we are. Put it this way, I go through a lot of stamps, a lot of um, those butterfly stamps, the, the uh, can cancel, because I usually like to use, um, well, let's do that. No, let's do this. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to stick it together. Anyway, because I use all the pokey gems and stuff that I love, gotta use all the pretties, right? <laughs> and then I end up having to put extra postage on everything. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a dimensional right about here, because otherwise this piece is going to be Kitty Wampus. Yeah, that'll work. And we want it, oh my gosh, as even as possible. Why am I having an issue with my glue today? Lordy B. Here we are. Okay. And there we go. And I know I had a couple people ask me about my bows. So I thought I would go ahead and make the bows with you guys. Normally I have them tied in advance. Grab my ribbon and my ribbon scissors that have been used for everything other than ribbon. And it wasn't me, let's put it that way. Hmm, who's the culprit? <laughs> All right, so if you guys are looking for this, I love this little guy. Um, I had one previously and I ended up breaking one of the dowels or whatever you call those things. Um, and I ended up having to throw it away. But a, f a good friend of mine gave me this as just a little gift. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just threw one away before I had moved. I'm like, oh, I missed that thing because I have a hard time making bows. I do the old bunny rabbit or bunny ear thing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that method. It's very elementary, but it always worked. <laughs> but anyway, this is a lot easier. And you can find them at 10 Second Bow Maker. I don't get anything out of that little uh, little blip commercial that I just made. It's just very useful, and I love it. Okay, let's see here. And there we go. And I just wanted to add, I don't know, just a pop of something. And I love this ribbon. And even though I didn't use any other black on the card, I kind of dig it. What do you guys think? Anyway, so that is card number one with uh, Spotlight on Nature. So let's go to card number two. This again is using some of our new in colors. So this is Petunia Pop and see what I mean? It's like, oh my gosh, that's so close. And uh, Shy Shamrock. Petunia Pop and Shy Shamrock. So what I did, because the dies that are in the bundle are only circles. So I cut these little guys in advance, but it's a really pretty butterfly. And I'll show you that again, right there. 
He's really cool. And when you stamp it, it gives all that little detail, which I, I just love. So anyway, I went ahead, stamped, and cut them ahead of time so you guys didn't have to sit there and watch me fussy cut because that's not very entertaining. I've also used our um, stylish shapes for that little stitching around there, and that's going to be for our sentiment. And give you guys some dimensions here all together. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Okay, Petunia Pop. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. On the inside, there should be, and there is, oh, I didn't even fail myself. This is basic white as a liner of the card. And this is cut at four by five and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to glue this in place. Oh, no, not again. Okay. I obviously need to replenish my liquid glue because I'm actually using that a lot more putting it into one of those cute little bottles so it's stampin up glue but um, I love those little bottles because the nozzle and this is a tip from quite a few demos now that are doing this um, I love that little itty bitty tip because the glue doesn't come out as drastically as it did before in the actual um, bottle for the multi-purpose glue Okay, let's see here. And that means that I don't get it all over me and I'm not a hot mess. This piece of Shy Shamrock, we're gonna put kind of kitty wampus on the card. And it is, size-wise, three and a half by five. And then we have this piece of basic white, which is four and three quarters by three and a quarter. And like I said, if you don't catch these, you know, you can always watch the replay later. Now I'm not going to put this on the card yet because we want to do a little bit of stamping on this. So I'm going to go ahead and again grab my scrap and I'm going to use this stamp. I'm going to take this one right off for now. I just don't want them to go too far because I'm going to be using them again. And we are going to use Shy Shamrock. Are you guys picking out your favorite new in color yet? I know I haven't used all of them today, but okay. Then we're going to go ahead and ink this up. And we are just basically kind of sort of making a background. With, you know, notice I'm not using any designer series paper today, which is really kind of weird. Usually I'm always using DSP. Today, nope, we're just doing the old sip stamps, ink, and paper. Put that one on like so. Whoops. I'm trying not to turn green. <laughs> That's hardly like, or highly impossible, I should say. There we go. Okay. There we are. And then we're going to be using Petunia Pop for the sentiment. And that's also what I use for the butterflies that I cut out. I'm going to clean this off before I get it on my sleeve. By the way, this is our um, chamois. And I just have water in it. And I know it starts looking really gross but it works wonderfully and you don't have to use any chemicals on your stamps, which is really nice. I like it. Okay, so I need the thanks stamp, or do I have it? No, nope, I have dear friend out. Okay, this one, <laughs> this one I slacked on. I didn't put the, um, a little sticker on it. It's a naked. Don't look. <laughs> All right. And this says thanks. Oh, ooh, that was really bad. And I bet, you know what? This is the one I didn't cut two of. There we go. That's better. So he's going to be, as I call it, inside out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh dear, thank goodness though, we have two sides to play with, right? There's a reason, there's a reason for that. 
Colette, hello. How are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. I spoke with your cousin at Starbucks. She's awesome. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this one on and I'm going to I'm going to refuse to I'm going to try to um not refuse. Oh my gosh. Resist, not refuse. I don't want to refuse the glue dots or the dimensionals. I love them too much. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do it. Heck with it. We're going to go against the grain because you know me. I'm always going against the grain. I wasn't going to do it. This one is flat to the card, but I decided to use dimensionals. Let's put it that way. My tongue is tied and my brain's not working. Okay, we're going to put that like so. And we're going to add three little butterflies. I cut out extra just in case they decided to fly away. Now this I am going to use just a little bit of, whoa, I'm throwing everything around. A little bit of seal on that. And I'm gonna attach these butterflies. Oh my gosh, they're sticking to me because I have just that tiny bit of liquid glue on my fingers. See, that's what happens when I become this hot mess express. Okay, that one. <laughs> there, all right. And peel those off. And we're gonna put one here. Aren't they pretty? I love it. This is a very springy card. And then one there, and then again. Okay, I'll say I know it's in front of me. It could not have gone too far. So we're gonna do another bow together. And there we are. Just like so. And then again, my ribbon scissors. These are actually getting a little dull. I need to find the scissor guy and get them sharpened. All right, and ta-da, we have our little bow. Twist them a little bit and find my mini glue dots and we'll be done with card number two. And there you go. What do you guys think of that one? That's kind of fun. I love the butterflies. Just think they're so pretty. Okay, last card. We're actually using those circle dies. And I decided to change up the color that I stamped. But I didn't. I forgot, actually. This is Granny Apple Green. I know, I didn't. Oh, the bling. Oh, Evelyn, thank you. You saved my life. Let me go ahead and do that. Let's reverse back, because I didn't put any bling on the other one either. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes, we need the bling. Thank you. So these are the new 2426 In Color Shimmer Gems. And they are quite pretty, and I've almost gone through an entire pack. I'm on my second pack. But take, take a look at these. Aren't those pretty? I've been doing a lot of swaps with other demonstrators, so I'm going through a ton load, we'll put it that way, a ton load of these. <laughs> all the things, all these little gems and stuff, because you know, you guys know me, that's just my bag. I, I love, well, that's like a different color. We're gonna, sorry, I'm gonna put you back. I'm gonna use one of these. Whoops, if I can grab it. And there we are, okay. There we go. And as far as for this one, let's do this one too, since, you know, we're right here. Why not? And we'll put one there and one there. There we go. Thank you, ma'am. Got to keep me on my toes. Okay. So there is that and that one. Now let's go to this one. So this I didn't use. Um, in colors, the new ones, so much. But I know Colette will love this one because it's purple. And I know purple is her favorite color. Uh, so with that being said, we're using, I got a lot of extra pieces in case I messed up because I don't, <laughs> I don't trust myself. I even got an extra 
uh, card base. Okay, so it's gorgeous grape. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then the inside piece is basic white, cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put this inside the card right now. Get that right out of the way. Whoops. There we go. And then I cut out the circles that I was showing you guys at, whoa, I just had a butterfly who wants to fly away. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I tell you, I think I had too much coffee this morning. Maybe that's my problem. I don't know. I know it's purple, right? It's so cool. They were also using Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green. But what I decided was I really liked the way the lemon lime twist actually looked with the Coastal Cabana and the gorgeous grape. So I went ahead on this sample, you're going to see, I'm just going to point it out to you guys. Maybe you never notice otherwise. But I actually stamped in the Lemon Lime Twist. I originally was going to stamp with the Granny Apple Green. Anyway, we're just going to leave it. It looks fine. <laughs> and besides that, I'm kind of lazy. But if you really wanted to, the Lemon Lime Twist would also look very, very cool. Because I think this is pretty as far as these colors together. It's something that just says summer all over it, right? All right, so with that being said, I also have a piece. In fact, let me get my cheat sheet here. The piece that's on the front is basic white, and this is cut at three by four and a half. And then I cut a couple of these in case I made a mistake. See, I did with the other two, but not the one. Anyway, this is going to be what the sentiment is going to be on, and this is two by three quarters of an inch. So we have a few of those in case of a mishap and a few of these in case I mess up. I'm always prepared, guys. I'm getting better at that. And then um, I wanted to show you as far as the sponging because there might be somebody who's here who's new. So this is a technique that I think it was one of the first things along with heat embossing that I learned when I first started to stamp. And it's it's cool and it's very easy and it gives things quite a punch. So with these, and um, bleh, 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 what are these things? They're butterflies. Yes, they are. And I'm going to take, <laughs> it's one of those days, you guys. Um, I'm gonna take Coastal Cabana and also, Lemon Lime Twist. And we have our little daubers. And what I'm going to do, Coastal Cabana first. What I need to do, some people are like super organized and they have one of those little clear cases with all the colors on the top and they have one of these for every single color in our color families. In my next life, I want to be very organized and be able to do that. But for now, you can wash these, by the way. Just use a little bit of soap and water and then let them dry and they're good to go. They might stain, but, you know, no big deal. So I just want to put a little bit of color on my butterfly and a very light touch. So there's one. Isn't that pretty? And then, hey, where did my other dauber go? Oh, no. Oh, here it is. Hello, in front of my face. Close that for the time being. And Lemon Lime Twist. See, I had these colored, but I thought, you know what? I should show this because it's very easy to do. Just to add some color. And it was one of the, like I said, one of the things that I learned as a really easy, quick technique um, that I just fell in love with. And I haven't done it in a while, so why not? All right. Now we're going to take this piece. And see, I think I need that color yet. We're going to move that aside. I'm going to put everything together. So help me, help remind me. Say, Dawn, you put it all together as I look for it when <laughs> we decide to put the card together. Okay. 
So I'm going to get these put off to the side. And let's go ahead and take our scrap again. And I think... I used, yeah, I did use that. So I think I want to use this one, not the leaf. I just love that. It's so pretty. So what I'm going to do, I also grabbed, so we can just play with color a little bit. Um, these are our Stampin' Write markers. The new ones that have this really cool bullet point on them. I know I've shown this, I think, last week or the week before. But if you can see that. So our newer, like, I think this was a thing this year, or was it last year? I can't remember. But anyway, hey, Beth. Hi. Happy Sunday crafternoon. Um, they're newer, put it that way. And now when you purchase, if you want to purchase all the color families together with our Stampin' Write markers, these are the water-based markers, not the blends. The blends are alcohol-based. You can still do that, but they are packaged as color families. So a little different, okay? But they have the updated colors that we added this past year. Yeah, gosh, it's hard to believe that a whole year has passed. Anyway, with that being said, I wanna play a little bit with some other color when I stamp these. So here is yet another technique that if you have been stamping for a while, this is gonna take you back a few. But for those who are new to our world of stamping, this is kind of fun. And this is another one of those techniques that I learned when I first started stamping. So first of all, I went ahead and I put the lightest color down, which I assume is, yeah, the lemon lime twist. And then I wanna go ahead and give this flower some pop with purple, because I know Colette loves purple. <laughs> there we are. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, for the other flower, I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. And instead of doing the huff huff thing, this might make a mess, it's only water though, we have our spritzers. This has water in it. I always keep one that has water and one that has alcohol. Not the kind of alcohol that you can like drink, okay? No, not that kind of alcohol. <laughs> but, um, you know, the other kind of alcohol, the 91% alcohol that you like clean wounds with. That actually works really cool with our blends, but I digress. Let's get on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and just give it a couple of spritzes of water. And I'm going to put one right there. And it just gives, I don't know, it's, it's not the real sharp, crisp image, but it gives kind of a water color-ish look. And then again, I'm going to go ahead, and I know I didn't clean that. It's okay. I'll deal with that later. <laughs> and then again, I'm going to go ahead and color the big flower in gorgeous grape. And then the smaller flower in coastal cabana. And then we'll spritz it. All right, and again, I'm gonna move this aside. I don't wanna saturate that thing. Be different if I was using watercolor paper, but I'm not. I'm kind of pushing the limits with our basic white cardstock. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that there. All right. So yeah, it takes me back a few years when I do these techniques. So we're going to go ahead and bring all of these goodies back. We have our butterflies and our circles that we cut. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this with dimensionals. And there we go. And then, oh, I know what I want to do before we stick that down. I'm going to grab my gorgeous grape ink pad. <clears throat> I almost forgot. Gorgeous grape. 
And there's this really cool stamp in this set that I keep misplacing right behind me. And it's this one right here. Can you see all the extra little circles I cut out? I keep those so then later I can just go ahead and use them when I need them. So we're gonna take these off and hopefully Pearl won't find those. I can't be knocking those stamps on the floor. She loves to chew on them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna eyeball. I'm not gonna actually stick this down yet, but we're gonna eyeball it. And I just thought it would be really cool to put this accent there, even though you're not gonna see it a whole lot. We'll put that there and we'll put this here in each corner. See that? We're gonna go ahead and like I said, it's not showing a whole lot, but it's a little something something. In fact, I'm almost covering all of it on the other side. Oh well, it's okay. I tried. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take these circles and we're just gonna kind of eyeball where we're gonna want these. Like, yeah, like so, right? So I'm gonna hope that maybe my glue will behave for a couple of minutes. Oh my gosh. I know there's glue in there. I know there is. Oh well. Let's cross our fingers with this one. I guess I should have <laughs> I should have checked that before uh, I start. Oh, there it is. Before I uh, hopped on live, huh? Oh boy. I tell ya. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put a circle about there-ish. And then for this guy, isn't that cool? I love the, the pattern in that. And that's the way the die cuts that circle, which I think is so cool. These don't look real purpley, do they? I wonder if it's because I put water to it. Because this, I did not do the spritzy, spritzy thing. This, I did. So um, maybe that's why it's looking a little wonky. I love these little butterflies. Okay, and then we also need our white piece. And we need to stamp a sentiment on that. Whoops. Let's see here. We need thanks. I'm going to borrow this block. And I need my gorgeous grape back. And hopefully that's on straight-ish. Well, that's kind of sort of. Let me try one more time. <laughs> I'm so OCD. Okay, there we are. It's as good as it's going to get. Good as it's going to get. All right. Okay, let's see. Which one's better? I guess this one. We'll throw this one away. Bye-bye. All right, so I need some dimensionals for my butterflies. <clears throat> and then I need to add bling. I don't want to forget that. I'm really bummed that those look kind of like a grungy brown or something. That wasn't such a good idea, but I don't know. I was kind of winging it. Get it? Pun intended. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Okay, I'm going to put, I think, dimensionals on our sentiment. <clears throat> and stick that down like so. And then our other butterfly. There we go. Well, let's do this. He's going to overlap. And then our bling. Whoops. And uh, my take your pick tool. 
It's kind of funny. Over to my left, it's like an avalanche of stuff that I'm waiting to have tumble to the floor any second. I'm holding my breath. Actually, you know what, you guys? I'm going to use these. So these are found in the online store only. In the online exclusives. And they are called, what are they called? I can never remember. Adhesive-backed shiny sequins and obviously I've been using them a bit and I'm not a person that normally loves the sequins I love all the other little blingy things but for some reason I think it's the shape of these are kind of weird to me and the feel of them is weird and I'm a very tactile person I know I'm very weird laugh at me I can see you're laughing it's okay <laughs> I laugh at myself all the time anyway and we're gonna add these because I think this is gonna go better yeah, it does. And I used, what? oh, I used a different color on that one. Anyway, I had reached for these before I jumped on with you guys. So, but yeah, why not? Let's use them. Oh, I need a bow. Got to have a bow. Scoot it over so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And then we'll stick them on with a couple of mini glue dots. Here we are. Okay. And I buried my glue dots. Imagine that. There we are. There they are. Okay. And you guys find they're kind of hard to see. Like I always have to fiddle with it in the light to find the glue dot. It's like a new game, find the glue dot. Okay, and that is card number three. I actually like this one better, but. So there is three, the second one, and the first one here. There we are. So again, um, this is Spotlight on Nature, and I think it's a really pretty set. Honestly, I originally ordered this set because we had a, a thing at OnStage, well, this, this event that I went to in Houston, and this was an evening stamping event. And they let us choose between three different bundles. And the reason why I picked the, the bundle wasn't because of the stamp set. It was because of the dies, all those circles, which I thought were just pretty awesome. But come to find out, I've really fallen in love with the, the artwork of the stamp set as well. It's just gorgeous, and I think it's usable for just about any any sentiment. Um, yeah, from get well to sympathy to birthday and thinking of you and hello and all the all that stuff in between. So again, you might want to add this one to your your wantables list out of the new catalog as it comes out on May first. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate you being here. <laughs> Thank you for supporting me and being here. You guys are awesome. And this is what makes it so much fun every week. I look forward to this. So um, put on your calendar next Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. If you have any questions, again, with the last chance list, let me know. I'm here to help. Just reach out. Send me a message. Give me a call. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you. Have a great rest of your Sunday afternoon. Bye-bye.